Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we discuss about the product post invariant face recognition via swift feature extraction and manifold projection and KNN classify with label indexing. Now we discuss the abstract for the process. The scale invariant feature transform that is SIFT is an algorithm used to detect and describe scale translation rotation invariant local feature in images. The original SIFT algorithm has been successfully applied in general object detection and recognition task. One of its more recent use also includes face recognition where it was shown to deliver encouraging results. Swift based face recognition technique found in the literature relay heavily on so called key points detector which locates interest point in the given image and that are ultimately used to compare the Swift descriptors. Now the face recognition technique gives the better result because of the stability of the shift feature extracted from the image. This proposed technique gives the output if the ID is correct the output will be shown as the text box which shows the all information about the persons presented in the input image. Now we discuss the flow diagram for the process. At first the input image is taken from the dataset. The dataset consists of several images. Then the input image is undergone for the process of pre-processing. In this pre-processing step we have to remove the noise from the image so that the filtering is undertaken. In the filtering we use the Gaussian filter technique to remove the noise from the image. And the pre-processed image is undertaken to the face detection. In the face detection, the face of the person is detected using the Viola Jones method. Using this method, the face of the person is exactly detected and the detected face is comes out from the feature extraction. In the feature extraction, the feature is extracted from the face regions using the shift feature algorithm. The shift feature algorithm extracts the features from the image then the classification is undertaken for the train feature as well as the test feature. The combination of the train feature as well as the test feature gives the classification result. The classification result will be comes out from the image. After the classification, the ID is created for the each person. For that ID, we have processing the ID details of each and unique person. The result will gives the details about the person which is present in the images. Now we discuss about the initial running procedure for the process. At first select the main.m file and right click in that file then select the third option run. Now the initial guy window was opened. In that you can see the several buttons known as the push buttons. Then these two axes are represented as an axis. Then this table represented as an UI table. Then one edit box is available below the push buttons. Now click the button input image. After clicking the button input image the dataset folder is available. In that dataset folder you can see the several face image in the dataset. Select any one face image from the dataset. Then the selected face is located in the axis 1 with the title original image. Then click the button pre-processing. After clicking the button pre-processing, the pre-processed image is shown in the axis 2 with the title filtered image. The filtering is done by the using Gaussian filter. Then 
click the button face detection. After clicking the button face detection, the detected face is shown in the axis 2. This face detection is using by the Viola Jones. Then click the button feature extraction. After clicking the button feature extraction, the feature is extracted from the image using the shift feature extraction method. Then click the button classification. Now click the button training. After clicking the button training, the one new guy panel was opened in that you can see the id number name age gender college name and blood group first enter the id number i can enter the id number two and name now i enter the age of the person Now I enter the gender for the person, then I enter the college name. Then I enter the blood group for the respected person, then click the button submit. After clicking the button submit, the main guy panel was opened. Now you have to retrieve the face and the face detail of the unique person so again enter the id number and then click this button now click the button push button now the detail of the unique person was saved and the retrieved and then the text shows the details of the unique person thank you